So my name's Joe. I'm a senior musculoskeletal physiotherapist here at Imperial College Healthcare. We're here in the physiotherapy gym where I'm going to be talking to you a bit about osteoarthritis. My role as a physio includes trying to help rehab people who have had different surgeries, injuries and often who are trying to manage osteoarthritis. So what is osteoarthritis? Well, it's a condition that naturally occurs as we're getting older that can cause some of the joints in our body to become a bit painful and stiff. Arthritis occurs when some of the protective cartilage that sits within the joint starts to wear down and thin. A joint is a part of the body where two bones meet to allow for movement to occur. Arthritis occurs when the cartilage that sits to protect inside the joint starts to wear down and thin. Osteoarthritis is a very common condition that typically affects the joints of our body, most commonly the knees, the hips, and some of the smaller joints into our hands. We often feel the symptoms of arthritis more so in the joints that we use day to day. So what causes osteoarthritis? Well, unfortunately, we don't exactly know the main cause of it. However, there are a few things that make you slightly more susceptible to getting the condition. Naturally, as we get a bit older, the chances of getting arthritis increase. If you've had a previous injury or surgery and you've started to get that joint moving too early, this can also increase the chances of getting arthritis. As well, if you are someone who's quite overweight or obese, this can also increase the chances of arthritis because you're putting more weight and stress through the joints of your body, again, particularly into the knees and the hips. Unfortunately as well, being a woman can also increase the likelihood of you getting arthritis. The main symptoms of arthritis often come in the form of a painful joint, difficulty moving the joint, which can come in the form of stiffness, and sometimes swelling in and around the joint. It's normal for these joints to look a little bit different to other joints that haven't been affected. However, importantly, there is a very broad spectrum of symptoms that people can have with arthritis. Some people may have very mild and low symptoms, whereas some people can progress through to have more moderate to severe symptoms. However, it's also important to know that you can have arthritis and not have any symptoms at all. You may have it without even realizing it. Sometimes these symptoms make it difficult for people to do their normal day-to-day -day activities, but often people can live very full and meaningful lives whilst dealing with arthritis. If you are really struggling with your symptoms and you are concerned, it is worth trying to have a chat to your GP to try and gain an assessment to work out if it is arthritis. So how do we diagnose arthritis? You may make an appointment with your GP who can assess you themselves or refer you on to another specialty. They may suspect that you have arthritis if you are over the age of 45, have pain that worsens with activity, and you have some stiffness in the morning that lasts less than 30 minutes. If your symptoms are slightly different, you may have another condition called rheumatoid arthritis, which has a more inflammatory background. A GP or other healthcare professional may use x-rays or blood tests to help distinguish between the two. However, importantly, we don't need to have an x-ray to diagnose you with arthritis. If you are matching some of the common symptoms, we can be quite confident that that's what's going on. However, this decision needs to come from a trained healthcare professional. I hope you found this video helpful.